this is the first shape this is second this is the third and this one is fourth if we combine these four shapes it will become a beautiful isometric design and here is the final animation so welcome to another beautiful tutorial so let's start with our tutorial this is the first shape that we will be creating in this video this is the part one so first of all we have to create a gradient background for that we have to fill the gradient color and on these both gradient stops we will fill some shades of green and light blue and let's try this radial as well let's select this last option and let's create another stop here and i want to add some bluish tint so here you can see now it looking it is looking much better now duplicate it four times to create the slides for our rest of isometric shapes so now for the first shape let's insert around it rectangle and reduce its roundedness remove outline and we will fill a gradient color into it but before that let's change its perspective using 3d rotation option now we have changed its perspective and the next option would be to fill the gradient color the gradient color will be in line with the background but with a slightly different shade you can kind of experiment here try to fill in more beautiful colors here but make sure it complements the background so i am just trying to fill in the shades of the background with some variations so that it can complement each other so i'm just moving the sliders here and there from light to dark increasing some transparency it's all experimenting with the options and you can also try this stuff and you will get the desired result so now it's placed duplicate it to create a shadow and send to back and place it just next to you the main shape and fill the solid color apply black increase transparency so that it looks like a shadow so it's looking cool now so in this tutorial i will create only one of this uh, isometric shape and i will cover the rest of the shapes in the next tutorial so that it will be easy for you to understand the step by step process now we have also increased the depth to create a 3d like option so now we will add a search bar on this shape so we are creating a mobile screen here with different apps uh, with different apps thumbnails so for that we have to change its perspective again and place it here now we'll insert a search icon insert we will apply a light green color first reduce the size and then change its color to this green and change its perspective again using 3d rotation option place it here we have to further reduce the size so that it fits the rounded rectangle and here you go it is looking beautiful now we will create thumbnails and we will create app screens here and for that insert around a rectangle and now here i would say it's a it's a place where you can you know totally experiment with your creativity i am just creating some random shapes here and you can also try different things here place some small charts thumbnails icons anything you want so i'm just creating some random app screens here as you know the purpose here is to create different app thumbnails as you see on your mobile screens when multiple apps are opened so that's kind of overlay i want to create here 
so insert another dot in rectangle and keep its height to 0.1 centimeter and place it here we want to represent it as a text some kind of text is written here so this is the illustration so text is represented by some shape here and again duplicated and again duplicated so we are keeping three shapes to present text and uh, align let's increase the height a bit or i would say let's keep it 0.15 and align center distribute vertically and you can see it looks like a app thumbnail with image on the top and few lines of text written below it so our first app overlay is complete now change its rotation using the using these 3d rotation options which are quite easy to understand and again duplicate it place it here and we have just tested it it is looking great now we will create multiple app thumbnails with different sizes and shapes and types here only and then we will change their perspective to fit on the mobile screen so duplicate it again and now we will start altering the design of these app thumbnails with different options because app, every app is different its styling is different so we are creating different screens here now this is a different kind of app screen so let's place hsn to the first screen here now we will again duplicate it and we are creating the third screen here and in this we will only represent text duplicate the text option here and place it in the center like this so let's slightly change the color so that a slight uh, variation in the color uh, will look good here I have added some blue as well let's increase its height so it's all about how you can you want to showcase apps here so it's totally your call and you can represent different things here I've showcased text you can also showcase some circles some different shapes some small charts like bar charts or pie charts here also you can add few icons here or small images as well but i don't think images will look good so you can try different options here so i am slightly changing the color here but the color the color will be same but it's just a variation of it so now it's, it is taking shape here again duplicate the top shape and place it here now again duplicate this white rounded rectangle and place it here so by now you got the idea like how i'm creating this kind of as, as isometric design so and i'm sure it is pretty easy to create these kind of shapes here and you can try different things here so i'll try to add some circles as well here so that you can understand like how to create this kind of shape and for that let's first duplicate this rounded rectangle and let's change it to circle so i have placed a circle here so it looks like some kind of chart is is showcased here and first reduce its size so that it can easily fit into this shape and place it here and again duplicate it and place it here so now it looks like uh, uh, thumbnails now it looks like thumbnails of app over a mobile screen and what we will do is by using the 3d rotation option we will change the perspective and place it here now one more thing is required here and that is to increase the mobile screen size so that the app thumbnails can fit in now slightly change the move the gradient stop slider so that we get more uh, strong color here more visible and i think we need to do one more thing here we have to create a shadow effect of all these thumbnails and for that we have to duplicate this grouped 
add thumbnails and change the color to solid uh, white black will not good here and increase the transparency and we have to send it behind the app thumbnails and now you can see your isometric shape is complete and this is the first part of the video and we will cover the rest of the items in next set of video we will also uh, learn how to animate these isometric shapes so now the first step you have to do is first of all the very first thing is press the subscribe button then press the bell icon now press the like button and leave a comment by sharing your thoughts about uh, this video so this is the kind of support i would be require i would be requiring from your end also please do not forget to share this video and keep waiting for my next tutorial that will drop in tomorrow so i hope you will keep on watching my videos thank you bye bye peace